Well, we're anchored. We did go further into the little sort of like inner bay but I wasn't really happy with the the depths. Thing is, it's wide open, wide open. We can see Greece from here. <laughs> That's how wide but open we are. As long as the wind does, does as wind forecasted, says. then we should be okay in here. There shouldn't be a lot of fetch coming through at all. Hopefully it won't get rolly. I've just brought the snubber part way up so that I can take it off the chain and there's actual chain wrapped around it. That's a sign of how bouncy it was. And also, we have this as a shave protector which usually does the job, but look at this. <laughs> you need more speed? All right, we're heading out. We'll see you there, Jimmy. See you later. Notice that as we travel along the Turkish coast there's a lot of construction going on. We're not sure if that's for the tourist industry or whether that's for locals but there's a lot of buildings going up there and this isn't an isolated site either. It's very hazy today so this camera might not pick up too much of what we can see but all along our starboard side we have fish farms in the distance. It's a bit chilly today, there's not a lot of wind, just about keeping the flags up <laughs> and it's on the nose, of course, um, but it's got a bit of a wind chill factor and because there's all this cloud cover, um, it's, yeah, it's a bit chilly. When the sun peeks out through the clouds, you can feel the warmth, but we've both got extra layers on. But considering we had such high winds the last couple of days, it's so clear and glassy and calm. How's it going, Captain? We're going good. Probably about, about 45 minutes away from our next stop. It's been a very short hop today. Uh, basically just repositioning, so to speak. We're looking at going in here. And this is what it looks like on the ground. So we're going around there. our nose in, have a look, see, see if there's any room. If there isn't, bay number else. two. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's got a fish farm there. Well, it says it has. May or may, may not, not have a fish farm. A lot of them have actually moved the fish farms out from the bays and further into the sea. 
Yeah, the farms are causing too much pollution in the water. Yeah. That's one of the uh, boats going to the fish farm. There's a lot of debris in the water since the winds that we had. It doesn't surprise me because that would have picked up every little loose bit of garbage that there was <laughs> anywhere. Unfortunately, a lot of it's landed in the sea. If we don't like what we see there, there is an alternative anchorage in here, which is also not exposed to any swell. Um, doesn't look quite as large and seem to be quite a few fishing boats in there already. We did go further into the little sort of like inner bay, but I wasn't really happy with the the depths. We could have anchored right in the middle. The depth was okay for anchoring right in the middle, but allowing enough swingage for the depth meant that it was, that was possible we were going to go into shallow water, and I didn't want to just do that when, when we were swinging. Plus the fact all of the service boats for these fish farms are go in there so they're quite big vessels mm. and you can see big boys where they tie up mm. and I didn't want to be swinging into their sort of area of mm. maneuver maneuvering there were lots of little boats as well weren't they yeah. coming in and out and yeah moving. there is a little um looks like a little um town harbor thing mm. jet, jetty thing yeah, in there small. and they've got pedestals for electricity and water so I'm assuming that if you want to pay you can go and stay on that but of course we like the anchor uh, because we've already paid for that <laughs> and um, so we've come out to this bay here thing is it's wide open wide open but as long as the forecasts are good we can see Greece from here <laughs> that's how wide open we are probably um, <laughs> as long as the wind does, does pop, as wind forecasted uh, then we should be okay in here there shouldn't be a lot of fetch coming through at all mm. um, hopefully it won't get rolly it's just for one night gives us a chance to stop and edit because we need to do that so that we can get the video uploaded for our patrons on tuesday have which you is noticed tomorrow. have you noticed <laughs> this seems to be a recurring theme we've got to stop and we've got to finish the edit ready yeah. to go out yeah <laughs> i don't know we must, work, uh, work 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 must must try and get more organized I don't know. I think we are organised. It it's a sailor's life. It is. Yeah. A traveller's life. A traveller's life. Yeah. So, we're here. Let's put this boat to bed. Yeah, and then we'll make lunch. Oh yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah. yeah. All right. right. Time of arrival, 13.35. Thank you. I'll do the ship's log then. Thank you. Well, we've literally been here for 10 minutes, maybe. And I just think we are too exposed here. The wind is blowing when it says it shouldn't be blowing. Uh, just too exposed if the wind picks up we've got too much exposure and too much fetch will come in and it'll be very uncomfortable uh, so i think well i know that we're going to move and uh, we're going to go seven miles around the corner to a more protected anchorage yeah just not happy here not happy jan
Oh, we've been everywhere, man. And now we're on our way to Asinkoyu. <laughs> and to do that, we're passing a few tankers. Here's one. And there's another one. And there's a few over there. We're going around there. On our starboard side, there's a fairly large town over there. later we are now anchored in Asinkoyu which is at the head of a very very big bay. We wanted to come here at some point because there are some ruins that we want to go and inspect. Um, we just didn't expect to be here today. Or quite so late. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we did turtle around looking at several other options that turned out not to be viable. Due to their size and the, uh, the dodgy depths and everything yeah, else. Yeah. So we've just arrived here as well and discovered that the internet package that we've got is done. It's over. It's just run out. So <laughs> now we've got to try and find some place somewhere where we can renew our internet data package. Yeah. So, uh, so <laughs> dear patrons, you may not receive your early video on your usual Tuesday. You may get it Wednesday this week. Maybe. <laughs> I'm so, I, and honestly, I've still got such a lot to edit and now it's nearly five and I'm knackered. So I don't know how much of that will get finished. So if you want to blame anyone, blame me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go below, yeah. put the boat back into working mode mm -hmm. and uh, see you, what we get. You can have done. your cup of tea now, can't you? God, yeah. Gagging for one. <laughs> Over my shoulder you might just be able to make an Ancha working feverishly away at the keyboard, editing together the video that I'm about to say this to. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up, we really appreciate it and it helps us out more than you can imagine. And of course if you're not already a subscriber, click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notified every time we put out a brand new episode of Sailing ABC. Take it easy. <laughs>